Welcome back. We are here looking at the FANG stocks, uh, and this is going to be my daily forecast for 29th of September 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe, hit the bell button and the like button, and uh, yes, let's get to it. So we'll look at Facebook first. And as you can see, this is a really green day. Uh, market is basically rallying all around, uh, mainly due to the US dollar uh, depreciating. It has been appreciating for for so almost two weeks now, and today we have a um, at least in the beginning of the European uh, session um, uh, quite a big pullback in the US dollar index, uh, but it has given away some of its gain. If it is just a minor pullback or or a major pullback that will continue, we'll see in the next few trading days. However, it has been uh, quite positive for uh, the commodities market, and as you can see, also for the also for the the stock market as a whole. Both the Fang stock and the uh, indexes are all green today. So if you look at Facebook, we have been trading in between the uh, the 50 moving average and this green line, which is the 100 moving average. And at this point, we are basically about to test the 50 moving average. If we were to break uh, through these 50 moving averages here, then we'll go much higher. Well, there's nothing basically, uh, uh, nothing in the way of this market going higher for Facebook. We'll probably go and retest the highs here of $304. And at this point, the technical indicators are for daily uh, are really promising. So we are, we are actually going to test this uh, these three moving averages um, and we'll see whether or not we break through them. If you look at the MACD, it is about to turn around. We'll, within one or two trading days, we will cross the signal line indicating bullish momentum. Uh, the stochastic is also pointed to higher uh, uh, price levels and the daily stochastic is also has also turned around and now is pointing for upwards momentum. The same goes for the MACD. We crossed now the, the Bollinger Band. We hit the lower part of the Bollinger Band and now we're basically going higher. If we have a green candlestick above these uh, the 50 moving average and the other moving averages here, that is a clear sign of this market going higher. So if you look at Amazon, which is the, the fan stock that has grown most today, today um, it is now uh, hovering in between the, the 20 and 40 exponential moving average and the 50 moving average. It has given away some of the gains, uh, but it is going to test this 50 moving average. If we get a clear green candle above this 50 moving average, then we are going to all times high of 3,549. The technical indicators are looking really promising for, for Amazon. We are about to cross the signal line indicating bullish momentum, and the same goes for the RSI and the stochastic and so on. Um, this looks really promising. Only thing in the way is basically that 50 moving average. If you look at Apple, Apple has crossed the, the signal line and it will most likely from here go significantly higher. Um, if we look at the, RS, the MACD, we are about to cross the signal line um, indicating bullish momentum. The same goes for the RSI and the casting. Everything is looking uh, nearly perfect for Apple at this point for going to test these all-time highs. We're at 113 level at the moment, and uh, the all-time highs is at uh, 137. It'll probably take um, several uh, weeks to get there. We'll probably see a lot of chappiness, but at this point, it is looking quite promising. Um, then we look going to look at uh, Netflix. Netflix ran into resistance at the 40 exponential moving average and today has fallen, um, well, at this point is falling only 0.10%, uh, uh, but it has, it, has been it has been trading between these moving averages for, uh, for the last two weeks now. The, 
the technical indicators are looking quite promising. We'll probably have one or two more trading days and then we'll cross the signal line. Um, the RSR is basically nearly flat at this moment and the stochastic is pointing for upwards momentum. We're probably going to retest this uh, 100 moving average before we bounce. Um, it is anticipated for for uh, for this market to go higher. It is. Uh, it, I would be very surprised if we fell uh, further from here. If you look at Google, um, Google had uh, a, a basically opened higher this uh, this uh, morning. Uh, or this day and at this moment we're going to test this 100 moving average and out of all the fan stocks Google has, is the one that has fallen most uh, in the recent weeks and also has um, the greatest uh, uh, most uh, resistant basically get through we have the 100 moving average uh, 20, 40 exponential moving average and the 50 moving average above. However, technical indicators are showing really promising signs for Google. So we will most likely go higher if we break through these 50 moving averages. The 200 moving average, we tested it several times. It showed, it proved to be uh, very supportive. So I have no interest in basically shorting this um, if we break down again, then then that is technically a um, sign for a uh, for a buying opportunity. So hope you find this uh, video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button, and good luck.